April is Lyme Disease Prevention Month, a time to raise awareness about the disease, how it spreads, and how to prevent it. And your pets may be particularly at risk. And here to tell us about preventing Lyme disease in dogs is veterinarian Aaron Forbes. Aaron, thanks for joining us. Welcome. Now, Aaron, first tell us how Lyme disease manifests in dogs. Um, so typically your basic cases are dogs that are gonna be lame, so they'll be limping, they don't wanna eat, um, sometimes they'll have a fever, and they just don't seem well. More serious cases, you're gonna have, um, you can see their kidneys get affected. So they'll either be peeing and drinking a lot more or in like really serious cases, they'll actually stop peeing altogether. Now, if you find a tick on your dog, what should you do? Should you be worried right away? Yeah, so if you find a tick, um, it takes about 24 hours-ish for Lyme disease to transfer. So if you find a tick, you should remove it right away. Um, and then you should contact your veterinary office and they'll talk to you about when it's best to test for Lyme disease. And what are some ways that you can uh, prevent your dog from getting near ticks or, or is that almost just impossible? No, so I mean, it is difficult to fully prevent them, but we have really good options for flea and tick prevention nowadays. Um, so there's a lot of different products out there. There's oral products, there's topical products, and there's um, like flea and tick collars. Some of them have certain side effects, so definitely talk to your veterinarian about it, but you want to get your dog on year-round flea and prevention. My dogs take the oral product, they get it once a month. Um, it works really well. Um, and then there's also a vaccine for Lyme disease. So the vaccine works really well um, in most dogs. It doesn't always prevent disease, but it can prevent like the intensity of the disease. So you're not gonna see the severe, or you hopefully shouldn't see the severe kidney cases. You'll more just see like them acting a little off. But a lot of times when I have dogs that have the vaccine, if they test positive for Lyme disease, they actually have no signs. So it's great because it's, it's working to prevent the signs of Lyme disease. Um, and then anytime your dog goes outside when it comes in, especially if you have the dogs that roam around the woods, but we do see Lyme disease in dogs that just go in their backyard, is check them for ticks and make sure you're not finding any on them. Yeah, any advice when checking your dog for ticks? Is this something you should do uh, like yourself every time you go inside and outside? Yeah, I mean, really every time, and you want to check um, like their paws really well, uh, check anywhere that has a lot of long fur, that might be harder to see. Um, so you want to kind of check everywhere and just like run your hands along or use a comb. Because um, hopefully if you check them before the tick can attach or is attached for a long time, you'll actually prevent them from getting Lyme disease. And what if you're combing that hair and you, you see a tick there? Um, what exactly should you do, especially you don't, you don't want to get the tick on yourself? Yeah, so they make tick removers for dogs, so we have them obviously in our office. Um, but you can also use like tweezers or you can use your hands to just like pinch the tick and remove it. And then you want to put it either in like alcohol or even you can put it in water just so it can't crawl out. Something that's closed so it can't crawl out. And that should kill it pretty quickly. Aaron Forbes, a lot of good information here as we're getting to the warmer weather. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a great day.